Thirdly, you stabbed me in the back. You were running away. <laughs> so it comes down to a 50-50 roll, yep. whether my character lives or dies. Well, I don't want to roll it. All right, Darren, welcome to your first game on channel. We're playing 30K today. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited. Welcome Warhammer fans to our very first gameplay video of the new edition of Horus Heresy. Play on Tabletop was given one advanced copy of the new box set by Games Workshop and the Warhammer community team, and I'm very excited to give it a try. I'm playing the Space Wolves, and not just because they are very cool, but because we got invited to paint up the new miniatures to have part of the official Horus Heresy launch at Warhammer World. The game you are about to watch was played a while ago and we didn't have access to all the army books yet, just the core rules. However, looking at the stats now, we weren't very far off. Why did we do it this way? Well, to be part of the Horus Heresy weekend, the Space Wolves had to be shipped off to Warhammer World, and they're still there now. Our goal with this video is to give you a taste of how the new Horus Heresy plays. It is quite similar to the previous Warhammer 40k 7th edition game, which had some very interesting and immersive rules. Throughout this video, I'm going to highlight the top five things that I feel are some of the best things about this new edition of Horus Heresy. I am playing the Space Wolves, and you are playing? Emperor's Children. Emperor's Children! And we are playing on the remains of a ruined city. The Space Wolves I am playing were featured on Warhammer Community and were on display at Warhammer World. How cool is that? You can find the army list in the description below, but note that I am just playing what we could get painted in time. I literally had to steal these off of Tack's paint desk because he wasn't done with them yet. Our friend Darren here is playing his Emperor's Children. Darren is a veteran 30k player and is helping me showcase the new Horus Heresy game to you. Today we're playing the mission Blood Feud? Yes. Yeah. That's right. So that seems apt. Yes. So in this mission, there's no objective markers on the board. None at all. Each of us secretly chooses a unit type, like infantry or vehicle, and we get points depending on how many of that type we kill. That's correct. In addition, we get points for killing the enemy's warlord. The person with the most units left at the end of the game is going to score but a single point. Excellent. But that could be the point that makes the difference. You it never could. Know. Um, so right now, we secretly choose the unit type. Yep. That's interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my ears. Okay. And you say to that, that cam right there what it is. Infantry. I'm gonna choose infantry. I think that's a good choice. We've already chosen our table sides here. You're on yep. that side. We're playing Dawn of War deployment. And one thing different about 30K rather than 40K is we will deploy our entire army and then the opponent will deploy their entire army. Here we go. Oh. I'm gonna choose to deploy first. Oh, there's your warlord going down. Warlords and characters are deployed with a unit. They're never by themselves. All right, got some infantry squad over there. Infantry squad. Spartans out in the open. Making sure he doesn't get stopped by any crater. I'd be really disappointed if neither of us rolls a one for a vehicle for difficult terrain. <laughs> And I'm gonna put my last infantry squad with my Captain Praetor over here, pulling up with a bunch of bunch of infantry dudes. By choosing to deploy first, yep. you get to go first. Yes, I have to deploy my entire army, so you get to see exactly what I did. But Which is nice. I get the first turn, unless you seize the initiative. So you exactly. get to roll a die. I seize the initiative on a six. If I get a six, I take first turn away from you. And it's always soul crushing. It's yes. always soul crushing. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Here we go. Ah! No, exact opposite. <laughs> All right, well, sir, good luck. good luck. Here we go. Well, we are just about to get into an incredible game of Horus Heresy, and it is brought to you by this video's sponsor, Magic Spoon. I wonder, will there still be cereal in the 31st millennium? Magic Spoon is delicious and healthy, and you won't feel guilty about eating it. With only 140 calories per serving and being also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb, I can feed these to Tack, who has a gluten and soy allergy, and I expect him to continue to work all day and all night so we can get more armies like these Space Wolves on the channel. Mac, I'm so tired. Eat more of the Magic Spoon. Okay. 
Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. My personal favorite has gotta be the peanut butter. Tack enjoys a bowl of the blueberry muffin flavor because it is the color of pot armor. And JT, yes, JT is back in studio. He seems to enjoy the chocolate one. Click the link below and use the code PLAYMAGIC for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash playmagic to try out their delicious cereal. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. What flavor might a space wolf eat? Well, if this game is anything to go by, it might be called the taste of victory. Now this is very key, specifically with a Spartan, you have to actually be able to see the target. Your weapons have to be able to see the yeah, target. And you can see on the Spartan how far your guns are apart. Yeah. One of the most interesting rules that is brought back into Horus Heresy is vehicle weapon firing arcs. Vehicle facing matters. If a weapon is pointing the right direction, it can fire that direction. It adds a level of strategic depth and immersion when you have to ensure that your weapons are facing the right way, and you can logically fire at its target. No more firing a bolter from the exhaust of a tank. Hull-mounted weapons and sponsons all have a set of rules that dictate in what direction they can fire and if there's an eligible target in their arc. This, of course, led to some arguments in past editions when two players couldn't agree on what was or was not in a firing arc, but between two friends forging the narrative on the tabletop, this is a really cool mechanic. Spartan versus Spartan. So these guys are gonna run. It's gonna hopefully hide from your Spartan because my Dreadnought does not want to eat a whole bunch of blast cannons on turn one. Alrighty. All right, so that's the end of your movement phase. Yep. All right, so moved up, been aggressive. Shooting phase. We're gonna shoot a Spartan. Yeah, shoot the Spartan. Well, my heavy bolter, unfortunately, doesn't have... You've hidden all of your infantry. I have nothing to shoot at. All right. Last cannons, last cannons. So I got four shots. I hit on threes. Doesn't matter that you move forward. Yes and no. I can fire one weapon at full effect, and then I've got a machine spirit. I can yep. fire another weapon at full effect. Hit on threes. Nice. Hey, don't need to twin link to reroll. All right, so now you have to get a five or armor six. Armor value, yes. Your armor value, 14 in the front. I'm strength nine, so a five is a glancing hit, which just removes a hull point from you. And a six is a penetrating hit, which potentially does very bad things to yeah. One little oh. glancing hit. You're at least 25% covered from this one yeah. and from this one. Because yeah. of my smart positioning. Yes, your superior position. Let's see if a six right? can save so that one six dice. Plus. I got it! I don't like it. Yes! I don't like it! All right, so no wounds on the Spartan. Yeah. Excellent. So I shot you. Yeah. We resolved my shooting. You can make a reaction now. This is where some of the new rules of 30k come to play. Reactions. So once per phase in the enemy's turn, you can make a reaction. Once in the movement phase, if a unit moves within 12 inches of one of your guys. Once in the shooting phase, if a unit shoots at one of your units. And once in the close combat unit uh, phase. Um, so there's two options for each phase. And so in the shooting phase, I can choose either return fire or evade with a unit that just got shot. Evade will allow me to get a five plus ignore damage, and return fire will allow me to return, return fire. fire, shoot all my guns back at you. And yeah. you can do that even if you had completely destroyed my model, which yeah. allows me to shoot even though it died. Please don't kill my Spartan in my turn, oh, Nick. Man. All right, so I also get four. I can only shoot at the unit that targeted me. I can't shoot otherwise. All right, time for number two of my top five reasons I really like this edition of Horus Heresy, reactions. This is a new thing that he introduced in version two of Horus Heresy, and I really, really like it. Now the non-active player is more engaged with having something to do in their opponent's turn, which could turn the tide of the battle and as the active player to be constantly thinking about how and when your opponents will use their reactions. Now, I do have to say that we got the reactions wrong a little bit here, and we unfortunately missed a clarification line. I used LAS cannons, which are not defensive guns and thus not eligible to be used. The editor may keep it in because it was fun to watch, but don't do this at home. You're obscured by this one, this one you are not, so this one's gotta fire differently. I get my cover save against that. I don't get a cover save against So let's other. do the one you get a cover save against. Hit it on threes, hit once, but I get to reroll because they're twin linked. Hitting twice. I gotta get a five or a six. Here we go. Oh, got one. Six plus cover. That's it. You hit the ruin? You did not hit the oh. ruin. And two more that you do not get a save against. And then reroll because of twin links. Hit them both. Here we go. I'm looking for fives and sixes. I really want a six. I want to see it explode. Here we go. 
No, nothing. Um, so that's all I did. I did one wound to. Yeah, you oh, took one wow, of my. You took one of my hull points off. But that was. But you got my heart beating. I did, and I got to do that in your turn. I yes. really like that. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing that in 40k. That's the end of your turn. You're not yeah, doing any I charges. Can. I've got nothing to charge. My turn. I'm gonna move this dreadnought up here. And uh, he's gonna be able to shoot at that uh, Spartan there. Now, he only has an auto cannon. It's not really a good chance of killing you, but with enough dice, you never know what could happen. Just roll sixes. Yeah, exactly. This infantry squad is gonna move up. They're gonna move through this crater here. They're gonna knock two off. So they're gonna knock two off. They're only gonna move five inches instead of seven, which is an upgrade. Faster Marines. Faster Marines. Park myself right there. Oh, they're gonna run. In the shooting phase, I'm gonna get to fire way more than you did. I'm gonna fire with the Spartan first. So I'm gonna fire the heavy bolters into that unit right yep, there. Yeah, because it's a defensive gun, you get to split them. I know, it's yeah. awesome. And the two last cannons uh, arrays are gonna fire into there. Excellent. Let's do the last cannons first, because that's fun. Four shots, twin link hitting on threes. Hit all but one, re-rolling. Still missed, so only three hits. Okay. Oh, nothing! Heavy bolter, twin linked into those infantry over there. Oh, I only hit you once, but it's twin linked. Ah, excellent, all three hits. On threes, two wounds. I get three plus armor saves. There you go. Two of them, I'm gonna lose a guy. Yay, I got one! Now, I don't have to take the closest model to the enemy anymore, I get to choose, so. I'm gonna take a guy from the back. I'm gonna now fire my Dreadnought. Now you're you're in my side, which against a lot of vehicles is very helpful. The Spartan is just such a brick that yeah. it's armor 14 all the way exactly. around. Okay, number three on my top five, it relates to vehicles again, armor facing. Armor facing, toughness, and armor in general play a, such a bigger role in Horus Heresy. In Warhammer 40K 9th edition, anything can kill anything, and anything with AP has the potential to pierce anything. But it's not the case with Horus Heresy where something like the Land Raider Spartan becomes incredibly tough to take down. Well, of course, unless you roll six, but that's a different thing. We'll touch on that later. AP works very differently too. It either goes through the armor or it doesn't. You either get an armor save or you don't. There's no minus or pluses to the armor. And with vehicles not having wounds, you're just trying to see if you get through the armor or not. They also have different armor value on the front, the sides, and the rear. So often, if you can get a unit to the rear of a vehicle, you have a much better chance of destroying that vehicle or even making it explode. And you know how much I love explosions. All right, so two auto cannons, and on threes we're rolling. Hit them all. All righty. Normally, his gun is not strong enough. Your yeah. gun's not strong enough, but you have the rending special roll. So on a six, you get an extra D3 to your armor pen. So you need to roll a six to have a chance to hurt me. Fishing for sixes. Fishing for sixes. Nope. Nope. So that is the end of turn one. The score is still zero to zero because none of us has killed anything. Neither of us can tell anything. Both of our warlords are alive, and it's not the end of the game yet, so. So let's keep going. Turn two. Turn two, you get to go again, and you get one more chance to try to kill my Spartan before I'm going to kill you this time. I, I swear it. It's, it's going to happen. Well, you know, if I can draw your Terminators out. Then you can shoot them. But then your Dreadnought will go kill it in return. I've got some Plasma Gunners hiding in that right. Rhino. I'll run around the side there. We're gonna make sure he wants you to know who he is. He carries around a banner, just plants in the field every time. It's no good if you kill your enemies if they don't know it was you. Yeah, we're gonna try to give my Spartan some fire support because I am losing this very slow battle of las cannons. <laughs> this rhino's gonna oh, yeah, pull, the, rhino pull a handbrake. The rhino's gonna come out too. We're gonna give you so many targets for the las cannons. You have now moved within 12 inches of this vehicle here. You could try to move. I could do a reaction. I am going to add, actually pivot this way. Yeah, and then move. And then move six inches. Because what I want to do. It gives your Terminators. I want to go charge these guys with my Terminators. Movement phase is done. We're going to go into the shooting phase. Alrighty, so last right. cannons. You're not obscured anymore. You moved you know, out of cover. I got out of cover. So. Not a single thing done to you. So my Dreadnought is gonna shoot your, your Spartan. Okay, you're fishing for sixes. Yes, so I've got two carries assault cannons. It is not a twin link weapon, it is two carries assault cannons. 12 dice. We're gonna hit you on threes. 
I need sixes to potentially hurt you. Oh. So. No, one six. It's a base strength six, so six and six makes 12. You're trying to get to 14. I'm trying to get to at least 14, so I've got a D3. Yeah, good chances. So a two, we're so gonna do a glancing, one glancing hit. hit. No one's gonna charge. No other shots there? Nothing else further? No, you've, uh, again, very skillfully blocked off all of your Excellent. infantry from my infantry with a big old Spartan. I can't uh -huh. see them. Uh -huh. What's gonna happen here is this is an assault ramp, which means that I can disgorge my Terminators that are on here, and they can move and then charge you in the charge phase. Yes. And that's gonna be so much fun. So these guys are just gonna move up, and uh, might as well get cover in the crater still. All right, so they're gonna get out of the assault ramp, and they're gonna have to move two less because of this crater in front of them. So they're only gonna be able to move here. He's gonna do a withdraw reaction. Yeah. Okay, so I can move a mighty five because my warlord is initiative five. Oh, and you can just move in any direction you want. Yeah. One last movement, I'm gonna move the Spartan because I wanna be able to actually shoot things I wanna be able to shoot. Yeah. So he's just gonna pivot. He's gonna back up. He's gonna make sure he doesn't crush his friend. So I'm actually gonna surprisingly split fire in a game that's designed not to allow you to split fire. Yeah. So I'm gonna fire everything in the Dreadnought, yep. except for the bolters that are gonna fire the tree in front of it. Las cannons. On threes. Ooh. Rerolling the twos. Five or six being preferable. Yeah. No. Two penetrating hits. Yeah. I've got my five up invuln save. Please explode. Please explode. So, no problem, we're just gonna roll two fives. Ooh, only one's going through. Five or six explodes you. Yes, so five or six explodes me. Oh. No, lose a whole point. Shaken, which means like the whole thing is like rattling and yeah. you can only now snapshot, which means hitting on sixes. Six. Continue with the bolters into the infantry squad. Uh, hit all three times. Okay. And what did you do you twice? Oh, I can see with four guys yeah. on this guy right here. So that's the only guy who can die. Hitting on threes, got two hits. And we're gonna do twice. Three pluses. Oh, I got him! So this squad is now gonna fire. I have a plasma pistol and a Volkite weapon here, but unfortunately, because of that reaction you did. Yeah, you were in range. I was in range, and you moved away. So I don't even get the rapid fire shots anymore. No. All right, here we go. Wounding on fours. Strength four and toughness four. I got two wounds. Three up armor save. One's and twos, kill the guy. Oh, I got one. Before you take him off, though, yeah. you can do a reaction. You can and either I shoot am, back at me. I might be able to make your charge even longer by killing a dude. So I am going to react, and I'm going to shoot back at you. 10 shot, and then one more shot. Nice. Right. The 10, and oh, oh no. Four wounds from that. Get your three up armor save. Oh, I lost oh, three yeah. guys! Very precise shooting oh. from the Emperor's. He did way better than mine. And then he's a mighty ballistic skill of five, so he hits on a two. Uh, but then it's just a bolt. So I lose three yeah. guys. And then he dies. And then he dies. I killed more than you did in that exchange, so we're happy with that. All right, well, that seems to be the extent of the shooting phase, because he ran, so he can't shoot. Yep. These guys did shoot. He shot. These guys have no shooting weapons. So let's charge you. I either gotta make a choice of doing the nine inch charge to here or the really easy charge to here. I'm gonna take the safe charge. I'm gonna try to charge this infantry unit right here. Yes. Well, reaction. You can do a reaction right now. You yes. can either fire Overwatch, yes. fire the whole unit at me at normal ballistic skill. Yes. Which I think is probably what you're gonna do. Or I'm counting, I'm counting dice. <laughs> Freeze. It's crazy that it's a full ballistic skill. Alrighty. Four Ooh. armor saves for you at two plus. Two plus! Oh, what is that? Two plus? Good job, the Emperor's children, Bolters. Oh. Oh. Which you did. Whew. Just barely. It's a six. Then we go into combat. Yeah. Chargers don't strike first. We go on initiative. Yeah, it's not just who charged first, it's who has yeah. the highest initiative. We're going to make our three inch pile ins. Now I get one attack a model. And I get a second attack because every Marine comes with a bolt pistol and a close and a combat, combat weapon. weapon. Yep. They pull down their bolters yep. and they grab their pistol and their chainsword or knife and they're like, hack, hack, hack. Yeah, you are. So there's a mighty two wounds. When I want to bet, I roll two more ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't two, 
Willies, but I want to fly. right through the visor. Fly. All right, well, I'm going to pile in yeah. and I'm going to get in there yeah. and I'm going to get so many attacks yeah. that you are not even going to yeah. see yeah. the light of day. Seven times four. It's 28. 28. 29. 29. Six fours. All right, so I get to reroll any fails. Sweet reroll. Oh, I won't be able to kill the unit. Your AP3, which my armor save is three plus. That means you just go straight through. I'd lose seven guys. You have one guy still left. Yeah, you better believe it, Sarge. Now we have to determine who won combat. I wonder who won that combat. So we count up the number of wounds done. I don't get to count the ones I did in Overwatch. Yeah, you did one. So I did one. And I did seven. You did seven. So I'm losing by six. Now I'm gonna make a morale check to see if I stay in close combat with you. Yeah, and if you pass, you stay there. If you fail, you run back. Right, yep. Now I'm leadership eight. That means I need to roll a double one to stay in combat. So we'll see how brave he is. No, he is, uh, he is proper scared. He's gonna run 2d6 directly away from you towards my board edge. And if you run off the board, you run off the board. Yep, he's out of here. So, seven the other way, Alrighty. That is the end of turn two. I think there's a potential for a very bloody turn three. You ready for it? Yep. Let's do it. I I feel like I should have done better. This claw's got very unlucky. He gets to try to rally. Does he want to? There's a lot of Terminators Rally! just steps behind him on an eight. <laughs> he is rolled less than an eight, so he is he's gonna rally up. Ah, uh, I kind of wanted to run away. This Dreadnought is uh, snap firing, so he only hits on sixes because uh, he's got a new LAS cannon hole in him. <laughs> so he's, he's gonna go, you know what, I would really rather not be shot again. My plasma gunners are gonna get out. Here's the interesting thing. I can't come out of the front of my rhino. Because you have to come out of the back because that's where the access is. Or the sides. I got, there's right. doors on the sides and, and there's a door on the I back. I still want to know how those five guys actually fit in that thing. <laughs> I mean, you know. So what I will do is I'm gonna move up here with my reaction move and say, if you don't kill me, you are toast. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take these guys. Threatening my warlord, are we? So I'm gonna oh. pivot. Yeah. And now I've touched, touched difficult touched. terrain. Because he went through difficult terrain, a vehicle has to roll a dice on a one. I'm immobilized. Can't pivot or anything. Nope. <sighs> More than likely, yes. Now the rhino's just gonna watch the beauty that is these guys removing those terminators right yeah, now. Gonna be... And we gotta roll them all individually because it uh, gets hot. You get two shots with each guy. Yeah. First guy. He's fine. Second guy. Sarge! Here's ones! Not dead. Alrighty. They're all fine. I'm with you on twos. Ugh. There's all the ones. There's all the ones. So it's <laughs> five invulnerable saves for you to make. So five four ups. Ooh. Big chunky Terminator armor. Well, oh, that's pretty good. Ooh, I you want to spend that react? I think I want to save it for right here or right here. Okay, the, yeah. the one Terminator is going to die. Terminator. This guy here is going to fire into That's the Terminators. The Dreadnought. the Dreadnought, he's shaking, so he's only hitting on sixes, but I got a lot of dice. Choose to wound. Uh, sixes are going to be rending, which are going to be resolved at AP2. Which is enough to get through my armor save. Yeah. But, but oh. nothing, so it's just three of your very favorite two-up saves. Oh, which I failed pretty poorly in the past. No ones! Oh. <sighs> The Spartan and last cannon there, our defensive heavy bolter. He can't see him. Yeah. It's a Sponson weapon, so I can fire at something else in my arc. We're gonna fire at him. First one here. Okay, into the dreadnought. Into the dreadnought. We hit. On fives? Oh, Two no. penetrating Two hits. Penetrating You've hits. got a five up invulnerable save. Ah! I save one. Don't roll a six! It's right there. Just no. do just do this. No! <laughs> The perfect shot! Boom! Oh. This guy would have annihilated that thing! Yeah. Number four on my top five, vehicle damage chart. It is so tough to destroy vehicles in Horus Heresy. However, the vehicle damage chart makes it that every precious wound you do has a chance of doing something, whether it destroys a weapon, immobilizes the vehicle, or destroys it altogether with an explodes result. Your AP value also modifies the dice roll to make it more likely on those big guns to explode the vehicle outright. Explosions! Now we're gonna do the same thing to the Spartan. Right, Here we go. Out. A five to glance you, a six, six to penetrate. penetrate. One glancing hit. All right, I'll take the one yeah, hall point. Yeah. Down to four. Rough. We got charges to do. I'm not even gonna shoot their bolt you guns. You don't wanna shoot. No, because you're gonna pull. 
You're gonna pull your models up front. We're gonna do some charges. Okay. So we're gonna go here. Don't get a six. All right. <gasps> we got a six. We got a six. Okay. We're gonna declare this one as well. All right, here I will declare Overwatch. Yes. And I have skillfully moved within your rapid fire oh, range, you I believe. Have, including the Volkai weapon and the plasma yes. weapon. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, that's a hit. And it's a wound! He's just gonna kill a guy. Well, I'll see what happens when a Volkai weapon hits you. That's a hit. hit. Strength five. Oh, another six! He's AP five though, so I get my full three up yeah, armor yeah, save here. Do yeah, we're good. All right, so on three. And then fours to wound. Yeah. Fours to wound. Oh, oh yeah. no! Four death! Looking for an eight. Absolutely oh, not. No. So. One thing new in 30K, the new addition of 30K is that if you fail a charge, you still move forward. Yes, it is called a surge move. It's a little insult to injury here because now I get, I make it easier for you to charge me. So, so it, it is half the value of your charge so dice with inches. any modifier. So I don't have any modifiers. It's just, I live two inches towards you. Bring that, <laughs> bring that banner closer. Well, I did make one charge. Yeah, you did make one charge. Let's see if you can do it. We go in initiative step. Who's higher initiative? We've got two of the same characters here. Yeah. So it is an equal initiative step, but I am gonna declare a challenge. Oh, ha ha ha, I accept okay. the challenge. This is a cool 30K and old seventh edition rule where you could issue a challenge to another character in another unit yep. and they fought just the two of them. Yes. He accepted so we get to fight. If he declined like a coward, then his Praetor would not get to fight. Exactly, he would just be hiding in the back like a coward. But I am no coward, we are the space wolves and we are here to destroy you. Yep. So I'm gonna hit you on force. I'm going to wound you on threes. Save them both. Right. Bounce off my armor. Now I get to hit you back, don't yes. I? Yes, we can roll that right now. Hit you on fours. Or wound you on twos. Oh, I <laughs> you still roll the one. One wound. And I too have a four up and vulnerable save. And I oh, too am going like, to pass. All right, so you're going to pile in there to fight? Yep. But the thing is, any models I kill of yours are all going to get to fight because these are considered to be happening at the same time. So I have six Terminators. They're two attacks each. The spear's a two-handed weapon, so I don't get a bonus attack. Okay. But I do get one bonus attack each for charging. We're gonna hit you on fours. Ooh. Yeah, it's on twos. Alrighty, so we are just gonna kill, because these are AP2 on the charge. We are just gonna kill six guys. <laughs> We're just gonna murder six Marines. All right, so my guys will fight back at you now. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can kill one Terminator. That'd be yeah. nice. Hit on fours. Yeah, oh, and I wounded you twice. You actually kind of only wanted to wound them once just because we all know that a single two up save is an automatic failure. <laughs> uh, but two two up saves oh. is no problem. So now we go to combat resolution. Yeah. I killed yeah. six guys. And I've done nothing. And then I did no wounds to your yeah. Sarge. You did nothing and then did no wounds to uh, my captain either. So you're down six. Your guy is leadership nine. So you got 2d6. And roll under a nine. So I gotta get a three or less. On, on two dice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My guys are in Tartaros armor, so they have a worse invuln save than your big chunky Terminators, but I can try to run you down. We both roll dice and you add your initiative. We're gonna add the highest initiative in the unit. We both have a Praetor, so it's five. So it's just whoever has the so highest So it's, it's dice. literally just roll off. Okay, so I cut you down as you turn to flee like a coward. You betray the sacred oath of close, of, of personal one-on-one -on -one duel. Well, the one thing is that these guys are so out of position that they're not gonna be able to damage anything else I No, the, the closest team is the Spartan and they can do literally nothing to it. So it is my turn now. It is your turn. All right, so those guys are gonna stay right where they are, closer to this one pitiful little guy in there, so I can kill yep. him. I think the Spartan needs to kill this, so that he has a free reign to kill this. Yeah, he just slowly picks them up with last right. cannons because they can't, they can't hurt him. And I also hit the crater, so let's see if I roll one on the mobilization, mobilization chart. No, oh. not mobilized. <laughs> My Marines right here yep. are gonna move up. Yep. To be able to have a guaranteed charge against you. I'm gonna move them closer. You're gonna move closer? Absolutely. Can't come within an inch of you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna line up beside my Praetor and just you know just get ready for it. I have very little left. 
These guys are gonna shoot everything into these guys. See yeah, if I can absolutely. see if I can take them out. Plasma weapon. Pew! No! Oh no! Oh, just <laughs> it just explodes. Out. You don't have an inbound save, you're attack marine sergeant. Uh, Volkite yeah. weapon. Typical barbarian craftsmanship. Hits. Wounds. Wounds. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, we save it. All right. Use yeah. the bullet pistols. Good catch. There you go. Problem? Oh, the <laughs> pistol! <laughs> Spartan's yep. gonna fire all of his las guns into uh, yep. this weapon here. There. And then the heavy bolter is gonna go actually into these plasma guys out there. Yes, there. Here we go, rolling las guns yep. into there. Four shots, here we go! Oh, good thing I can reroll the hit. Sheesh. Oh, still miss one. Okay. And one. I'm not gonna evade, I'm just yeah. gonna, I'm gonna take it. And then the bolter's into the... Uh, yep. And wounds you twice. Three plus. We're good. Yeah. They gotta take morale. I, I took 25% yeah, casualties. Either. Fine. We're fine. We're gonna we're gonna live to get charged by a bunch of angry wolves. I'm gonna declare a charge here yep. with the wolves here. Okay. And uh, I can't fail that charge. Yep. I opt not to react. And let's get in here. And I'm gonna declare a challenge. Absolutely. Do I you accept. accept sir? It's, it's your turn to have the sword versus my axe. These guys are gonna multi-charge the unit of plasma guys. Yep. And could you point to the guy that's in the building there? He is right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Charged well, so yep. let's charge both those guys. They're, They're gonna overwatch. Yeah. Yep. Alrighty, Sarge lead by example. Sarge kills himself and misses. <laughs> <laughs> Never yes. mind, don't watch yes. Sarge. Don't look at Sarge. The next guy kills himself, <laughs> but he hits. I got a hit. The third guy doesn't kill himself. <laughs> The fourth four, guy, four, four. The yes. fourth guy kills himself. Yes. And the last, the last model to shoot. <laughs> okay, three plasma gunners killed themselves, and we're gonna see how many Terminators they take with them. Okay. Ah, I wound you on twos. Make five four-up invulnerable saves. Let's see how many oh. Terminators I take with me. Oh, a few. I'm betting. No, just, one. Just, just one. Just one. Charge in there with oh, a yeah. three. No problem. No problem, but um, barely enough. Yep. Um, he's got to kind of stay in there to maintain coherency. Yeah. And these guys just kind of bump into there. I'm going to choose these Terminators. Let's kill some <laughs> munchum guys. Yep. Because you did a multi-charge, you don't get the plus one attack oh, for charging. Three attacks. So, but it's still, it's three attacks because you still get your bonus for having two claws. Fours. Yep. And yeah. I wounded you twice <laughs> with a reroll. One wound, yeah, you kill him. See if I can kill the plasma gunners. Fours. They're already dead. So I get to make my attacks on the way out. Take out our daggers. Four swings from the plasma gunners. Oh yeah. Here we go. Two wounds. Two two-ups. Same both. Oh, and then let's do this fun <laughs> combat right here. Okay. So initiative step here would be our warlords fighting off. You've got your power blade, and I've got my power axe, so. Five attacks hitting you. Here we go. Three. Three four up invuln saves. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, ha, ha, ha. So we're alive with the wounds. And then I've got my power axe. Fours. Two wounds. Take your four up invulns. Oh, you two are alive with a single oh, wound remaining. Single wound remaining. Oh no. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they don't like me. Oh, they do not like you at all. <laughs> we kill both of my remaining. And the warlord stands alone. I only lost by two, so I'm I am effectively leadership seven. Just very doable. Very doable. Roll a seven or less. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the end of turn three. Fascinating developments here. Terminators have managed to do a little bit of damage there, but that yeah. Dreadnought is now going to be able to fire at full ballistic skill at him. Yes. And that could be potentially devastating. Yeah. On to turn four. Okay, turn four, sir. Let's do it. Okay, we got a big old squad of Terminators that is uh, friendless. Useless. On this side of the board. Useless. So we gotta, ah. we gotta get them back into the fight somehow. We're gonna turn. We're gonna move six this way. Nice. That's very fast. Very fast. We're not gonna move anything else just in case you react to something in a way that I don't, <laughs> that I don't, I'm unaware of. And then we're just gonna shoot this Terminator unit. Spartan's gonna take everything into them. Yeah. So last cannons. I'm at him. Very much on twos. 
Ah, there we go. Yeah, just one. Um, hmm. Okay, ooh, that's pretty good. So I got four armor saves for you and two invulnerable saves. Two invulnerable saves. Got them both. Four armor saves. All but one. I am going to call evade yeah. right now. On a five up beat, Norris Edge. Yeah. These Terminators are not gonna die now. So sadly, I have to select that combat and go in initiative order. And I get to go first. You get to go first. Uh, plus one more, because you got a pistol. Oh, which is important. Oh, I failed. Every single one. So now the rest of my models get to fight you too. So the cowardly wolves are going to interfere in this challenge now. Cowardly? You stabbed me in the back. You were running away. <laughs> On fours. Give me something here. Let, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. No, this means you're gonna kill me. So I hit you on fours, twos, a single wound. So it comes down to a 50-50 roll, yep. whether my character lives or dies. Well, oh, I don't wanna roll it. Ah, no. <laughs> well. <laughs> Life is so hard. <laughs> What are you doing? You have a giant freaking sword. So many threes. So because my parents died, so but my sergeant is also dead because he blew himself up with a freaking. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no, your, your squad base leadership is seven. No! Four, five. five, six, you're good, you're good, you're fine. My last reason on my top five reasons why I really like the new edition of Horus Heresy has gotta be the refinement of the seventh edition rule set. A lot of quality of life improvements. For instance, previously, when you shot at a unit, any wounds on that unit had to be taken from the closest miniature. Now the user gets to choose where it comes from. Dreadnoughts are so much tougher and powerful in close combat. All the heavy weapons have a place in the game now, and you won't just see plasma across the board anymore. It makes me hope to see a much more varied army when we get to use all these heavy weapons. All right, my turn. Do you know what I've got to do now? <laughs> junk, junk. I can't damage anything over here with those uh, Terminators. To be honest, the best thing they could do is hide. Fire everything right here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ooh. Hit them all. Four wounds. I am the lighter Terminators. I only have a five up inbound <laughs> save. <laughs> I am then gonna take my reaction to evade. Evade, okay. Got one, one more, so only one dies. And then the heavy bolters try to run into you. And I did not wound you. And then uh, let's fight. So you get all of your shanks because I'm at initiative one because it's it's hard to swing a guitar at people. There. Uh, wow, I only hit you four times. I wounded you twice. Oh, die! No. I got four axe attacks. I hit you on threes. Alrighty, let's, uh, don't worry. I missed every single one of my attacks. All right, so we're gonna go into turn five and this game is bizarre. Our Spartans are still duking it out. You've got one very strong unit of Terminators. I've got one unit of Terminators way out of position, not able to do anything. They do do what they do. They killed all the infantry on this side of the table yeah. and they're sort of like, well, I've got nothing else to stab. These guys are gonna be fine. You're gonna be charged here. Kill all these guys. I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's the plan. Ready for turn five? Yep. This is fun. Dreadnought's gonna step out. Yep. Six plus three is nine, so we can certainly get closer to you. We're gonna, we gotta go around the building. What's gonna happen is we're gonna light this Spartan up. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna try, but I, I see it blowing up this turn. <laughs> Alrighty, twin linked. Try again. Oh, it's time, it's not time. Just one more glancing one wound, fire. down to three. All right, so now your Dreadnought is firing into me, right? Yeah. Hitting on three. Okay, well, we're gonna have a lot of dice to fish with. Uh, only two, I cannot kill you. What does it do? Uh, so that does nothing. Yep. And that does a penetrating hit. I'm gonna do the reaction evade to see if my guy can evade out yep. of this on a five up. No. No, okay, come on, baby. Uh, no, you're just shaking. You don't care, yeah. It's combat. <laughs> we're, all, we're all getting tired, it's a long, ongoing combat. Two wounds. All right, two plus. Just give me one, just give me one. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can actually hit something with this damn axe. Hold still! Wounding on twos. Three wounds, it's AP two. Oh, just three dead yeah, dudes. Three dead dudes. Oh no! Damn. 
Let's see if I run away. Uh, we run away. So I'm gonna try to sweep the advance you, so I'm one higher initiative. Oh my goodness! What is with my dice? So, tie. But you win! <laughs> but I win you because I'm plus one. Units. I have very cowardly space wolves. Get out of here, dogs! I'm gonna pivot. Yep. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna fire everything through the uh Yep. Alright, but I gotta see if I'm immobilized. Nope, not immobilized. I'm gonna shoot through this window. Yep. Right over here. Yep. And kill him. You're gonna fire at my Spartan. I'm gonna flip it around and it's gonna fire at your Spartan. Yes. Yep. It's gonna blow it up. Two last cannons into this guy right here. Yep. Here we go. Freeze. We roll with uh twin links. Choose the wound, wounded him twice. Dead. Oh! He's too busy celebrating to see the tank turn. <laughs> Give it a riff on the guitar. Flip this laser cannon. Yep. Blow up the Spartan. Uh, twin linked. Oh, right. Fish in. Yep. No. Well, that's uh, that's the end of turn five. Yep, and turn six is going to be really fast. Both our warlords are dead. But you're definitely going to have more units alive than I am. Yep. Um, I've got no infantry that you can get. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I can move and shoot through this window. Movement phase, the rhino's gonna get the heck out of the way. He's gonna poke his head through the window and go, hello boys. Spartan into the back of the Spartan, which is just as armored, but it doesn't feel that way, does it? It's like really hard to hit apparently, but we're twin linked. Still miss one. How are you missing that? It's right in front of you. Very difficult. Ah, oh, here we oh, go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, you evade. Do it. Yeah, I will yeah, definitely you. evade. Do I evade the glancing one? I do. Do I evade the penetrating shot? I do not. Oh, do that right six. No. no. Done. It's done. Okay, so I'm snapshotting. Yeah. Alrighty, Dreadnought. Deuce to wound, but you're only really worried about sixes. Not a single six. You got three two up saves to make. I'm gonna fail three of them, I bet, yeah. Not in middle yeah. any. That was my turn. My turn. Got your four guys and you have a stunned Spartan. <laughs> Let's kill the rhino. So yeah. I'm going to be a bad human person and we're going to react to your movement. No, 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 You got a nine inch to my spoke. I'm going to do the shooting phase. Yep. I'm going to fire the last cannons with the machine spear into the dreadnought. Try to kill it. And the other last cannons into the Spartan. May as well shoot the Terminator. Into the Terminators. Two shots of sixes. Hey, you got one. Yeah, got one. Oh, uh, yeah, and link. then twin link. Just one. Uh, so the one hits. You're not three. Doesn't win. Nope, okay. All right, last cannons, the machine spear of the last cannons, yep. into the dreadnought. Hits okay. twice. Four's glance, five, six pens. Oh, it's a penetrating hit. Five up in bone save. Help ya. No, it's uh, not. Uh, uh, uh. Explode. It explodes! <laughs> it's so perfect! The super lucky snapshotting uh, last cannon into the Spartan from here. Two shots on sixes. Twin legs. All right, let's do a charge. So if I can make that in there, yep, I need nine. nine. Here we go. Nine inches. Come on, give me that nine. Not, a, not even a chance. And that's it. And that is the end of the game. Answer. Game. You have one, two, three units remaining to my two. two. So I'm gonna get one point for Last Man Standing. You get one point for Last Man Standing. They both get a point for Warlord. So far you're winning two to one, yeah. but how many infantry units did I kill? Because that was my secret. Yeah. I selected infantry. Who chose infantry? I figured you would. You got one, two, three, four infantry. One, two, three, four. Right. Four. So does that mean you win by one I point? Win by, I win by one point for literally having more guys alive at the end. Well done! I did it in style! Well done! So what do you think of Horus Heresy with the new stuff? What do you think? All right, uh, the reactions are incredible. I love the mechanic. Way more engaged in your turns than I would than I would normally yeah. be. So what do you think about Horus Heresy? Are you thinking about giving it a try? Have you played the previous edition and liked the new changes? Like the video, leave a comment, and let us know what you think about the new Horus Heresy and this game that you just saw. If you have interest in getting early access to our videos, exclusive content, and joining a vibrant community on Discord, please consider joining our Patreon. The link is in the description below. And thank you so much to our video sponsor, Magic Spoon. We expand a lot of effort to make these videos and having Magic Spoon in studio is great for our early morning creative sessions or a late night guilt-free snack. Click the link below and use the code PLAYMAGIC for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash playmagic to try out their delicious cereals. 
really enjoyed this game. It was a ton of fun. That poor Dreadnought. Oh, that poor that Dreadnought. Poor, poor Dreadnought. That just got vaporized. Well, I think I'd play this again. What do you think? Oh, I'd absolutely play this again. And until we see you next time, you can choose any camera. That's your camera right there. That's my camera right there. That's your camera right there. You can see him. Until we see you next time, play, play on. on. Woo! We all at the studio really liked the system, and we'd be keen to see more. So hopefully this video does well, because we'd love to do more of this game system. So help us out, share it, like it, leave a comment, help YouTube find it. Let's see more Horus Heresy on the channel. Now that we have this Space Wolves army, I wonder what we will do next. Something, something, Philosophy?